Okay, so soundness and validity. These are pretty simple. Um, in philosophy, what we're trying to do is give good reasons for believing stuff. So to give somebody a good reason for believing something, you got to give them an argument. Now, when I say argument, or when philosophers talk about arguments, they don't have to be things that involve people being angry or yelling or screaming or anything like that. An argument has a very special and specific definition. An argument is just a bunch of sentences. And it's a bunch of sentences where one of those sentences is the conclusion, and it's usually marked off by some word like thus and therefore, hence, in conclusion, blah, 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 blah. Whereas the other premises are, or sorry, the other sentences are premises. Now, sentences, premises, and conclusions can be true or false, but arguments can't be true or false. Truth and falsity are words we use when we're talking about premises, not about arguments. So an argument is a good argument. It's an argument that forces you to believe the conclusion when it's sound. And that just means that you, if you can't find something wrong with the, with the premises, then you are forced to believe the conclusion. Now, in order for an argument to be sound, it actually has to have two things. First, it has to be valid. And for an argument to be, be valid, that just means that if the premises are true, the conclusion can't be false. So it's the idea that the, somehow the premises, the argument is like set up so that, if the premise, so that the premises can force you to believe the conclusion. If they're true, then you gotta believe the conclusion. But that doesn't say anything about whether or not the premises actually are true. So for example, any argument with the format all x's are y is a valid argument, or sorry, all x's are y, a is an x, therefore a is a y. Any argument with that format is a valid argument. So the argument, um, all cats are fish, Hobbes is a cat, therefore Hobbes is a fish, is a perfectly valid argument. But it's unsound because the first premise, all cats are fish, is false. So validity has nothing to do with whether the premises are actually true or actually true or false. It just is that if the premises are true or false, then you're forced to believe the conclusion. So therefore, soundness is just the argument being valid and the premises actually being true. So when we talk about an argument being a, a good argument, we mean the argument being a sound argument. And that's just to say that the argument is both valid and the premises are all true. In, or so correspondingly, when we try to figure out whether or not an argument is a good argument, we have two questions that we're going to ask. First up, we're going to ask whether or not the argument is valid. And that means regardless of whether or not the premises are true or false, they could be all true. But if the argument, but if the premises, sorry, but if the argument isn't valid, then we don't know anything about the conclusion, even though the premises are all true. So first up, we have to check whether or not the argument is valid. Second, we then look at each premise and try to decide whether or not it's true. If we decide that the argument is valid and that all of the premises are true, then we have to believe the conclusion. That means we've got ourselves a good argument.